Do you ever wish that you had an instruction manual for all those insignificant moments in your life? Someone that answers the questions you've always thought but never bothered to ask? Well, we are here to help you navigate the nuances of everyday interactions, and today we'll be teaching you how to try before you buy. So grab your knitting needles and a blanket because it's time for three old friends to sit around and sew a new patch into their quilt of life. So join me, Dion, under the covers with Christian. Welcome to Patchwork. And Josh. Welcome to Patchwork. We've all bought something that we've regretted. A pair of pants that don't fit. A seafood pasta. A one-way <laughs> ticket to meet that online girlfriend you once had. <laughs> if only you'd been able to have tried before you bought. So today, we're going to teach you how to try before you buy. Now... I had an experience at the shops not too long ago. I bought some new boots, some Blundstone boots. I needed steel caps on them. Oh. And I went to do the old experience of buying new shoes. Mm -hmm. And the thing that I find very strange about buying new shoes in particular, it feels a very unique experience, the little try on trot. Yeah, five or six steps on carpet. It's 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 not the, it's not simulating at all, right? I tried to my I tried to do my best because I wore my Explorer socks because I'm like these are the socks I'm going to wear with these boots. That's mm. great foresight to bring socks because it's happened before. What happens yes. when you don't have socks? I've gone I've gone shoe shoe shopping in thongs before. Oh, what? So you put the thongs on and then the <laughs> shoes? No, the, the last time I tried on shoes and I didn't um, have socks, they gave me one of those little stockings. The store little, pair. Uh, they're, they're, they're rubbish. They're, the complimentary socks they're, suck. They're, sho- they're not socks. What are those things? They're little mini stockings. Were you shopping for men's or women's shoes? I think they were men's <laughs> shoes. I mean, they were right up to my knee. <laughs> but that's sorely just to protect... The shoe from your disgusting feet, right? Yeah, but it didn't serve the purpose of yeah, the, simulating. The, the sock. Can, yeah. can we just agree that when going shoe shopping, don't like if you forget your socks, then there should be no complimentary socks. You've mm. lost your opportunity to try on shoes. They, because how can you guarantee that the socks have been washed? But what about <laughs> this? If you're going for the shop and then they go actually, why don't you try one of these ones? And they bring it out and you go, I wasn't expecting to wear this shoe and this requires a different sock. I've got no problem, and Christian, you shouldn't either because you don't wash your socks, but I've got no problem <laughs> wearing a pair of socks for two minutes that aren't mine. No. Really? I don't oh, care. Oh, I do- oh. Can I just say, since season two, <laughs> I have, after every single time I wear a sock, I wash it now. And I think since then, oh. I am now acutely aware. It's almost like I've been stained. I can't wear a sock that I've worn once. I'm not going to touch a complimentary <laughs> got a, sock. Got a bit of a sock sense there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but does it matter so much? Would you uh, buy? Would you buy a pair of uh, like used underwear or pre-loved underwear from an op shop? Pre-loved change of language. Look at this. From an op no, shop? Would you? No, you no, wouldn't I think so. No. Why not, skiddies? <laughs> <laughs> not worth the risk. Not not needed. So Josh, you yes. did the, you did the little trot. Yes, and it, and it was. I realised that there's very few other products in your life that you get this little trial of. The other ones I thought of is often if you're going to rent somewhere, you do like a walk through the house. Mm. You flush the toilet. You turn on the tap. And you go. Yeah, I'll live here for ne- the next twelve months. Uh, it's rubbish, isn't it? It's dumb. It's uh, so how, how long are you supposed to give? So so let's say you do the little trot. Mm. And then what? Then then the attendant's looking at you? I, I, because I was like, oh, this is kind of important. I'm spending a lot of money here. I want to get mm. the right ones. So, I was two, I was tossing up between the sizes and stuff. I did so many test trots just because yeah. I was like, yeah. I'll try and get a feel for it. And, um, you know, you're walking there and you don't want to look like an idiot. So, you're kind of like looking up into the sky. How yeah. embarrassing is... Because when I'm trying on runners... I try to go for an actual trot. Great, you I try to break to. into a jog in the store. Like, stop, come back! <laughs> <laughs> stop, thief! Yeah. yeah. But do, do you have to simulate the kind... So in the Blundstones, are you going to be doing like heavy lifting and stuff? <laughs> yeah, like, I should have done some squats, right? I think you should yeah. have. But I, I don't really understand why you need to try and simulate it because you should be able to try them, take them home, bring them back. No. Because they always say, don't walk on anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? what that's what they all say. Oh, you don't yeah, yeah, if you want to return oh, really? it, just make sure you do- make sure you walk on carpet. That's what they say. <laughs> just, God, just just fly through the air while you try the blundstones on carpet. By the way, what are you? I'm really intrigued. I cannot imagine you in a pair of blundstones. It was I, for when I worked at Oz Post. I needed steel cap boots for the warehouse. That's oh, great. That's great. And it's actually coming in handy because they're like a really good pair to have for any kind of work of and, that nature. And mm-hmm. and so you found that it was a good purchase. Yeah, I've been very happy with them. So see, that's it, right? Maybe we're overcomplicating it. Maybe we don't need more than five or six steps. But I don't think the steps changed my opinion in any way. Mm. I think I was kind of like, well, these is the brand I want. 
the size is right. Mm. Yes. I think I'm just getting these. Well, there's the, I mean, that's with shoes. There's the famous squat test when you're trying on jeans. Oh, what? yeah. You I've have to do the squat fa- test. It's a famous You have squat to do a test. squat test and it's with actually a, with a celebrity. And, <laughs> and you know what it's called? It's called a thought drop. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, it's called a thought drop. So, yeah. what? I'm not going to explain what it is because it's quite rude, but. <laughs> You're meant to. <laughs> Do I need that? But but you're meant to really like just sink into a chair and experience the genes because you don't want the, you don't want a lot of gather. You don't like that's the last thing you want. Such a good point, Dion. I find trying on pants really needs you need you. I feel like more than shoes, you need an an every event. You need yeah. them to provide in store a a like four or five different environments that you can walk yeah. through. Yeah. Like you're in the rain. Right, they're a little bit damp. Yeah. Now put your hands in your pockets. <laughs> but you know, he's a dog leash. Go. <laughs> but you know what? There's I never understood with pants. People saying, "Oh, they're the most comfortable pants in the world." Mm. But I I fully understand that now because yes. of skinny dropped jeans. A, dropped a bit of cash on your jeans. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. Well, I went to Uniqlo and got these things that look like chinos. They're not chinos. They're not kidding anyone. They're <laughs> like tracksuit pants, and they're oh, beautiful. Wow. They're beautiful. But they are, are they are kidding everyone though, right? They are. So they, they are. have elastine or something in them. Yeah, and they've got also an internal cord that you can pull. Oh. An internal cord that you For pull G- and you tuck in. It's weird. Yeah. It's so, weird. So, so pants are just. Are developing. It's yeah. the Japanese, <laughs> goddammit. They're always first with tech. You got pant tech now. But also, like, what other stuff in a store? Like, what about a knife? What about when you grab? Do you want to feel? You want to feel the weight of a knife, don't you? you cut up all those shoes and jeans, don't you? <laughs> yeah, Christ. Like the so you're so you would go knife shopping. Yeah. Wait, I don't, Christian makes it sound so hang on, stupid. Hang on, oh, surely, oh, hang on. Surely yeah, going sure out and knife shopping. Oh, that's is... amazing. And bringing some salmon with you and just trying <laughs> it out in the store. <laughs> You're just on your way somewhere. So I can just quickly borrow that. Oh, yeah, cheers. The bloody that's, Japanese again. <laughs> that's why they pay the staff so much at knife stores. Sorry, so do you mind if I just... <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> just human flesh. Yeah. Of Tessa. Um, but yeah, I was just thinking like there's all of these things that you would love to try. But you can't really try everything, can you? So, like, well, mattresses. Mm, that's yeah. a token thing. You yes. lie down for a couple of minutes. Yep. That's not equivalent to eight to ten hours no, sleep. No way. Yes. You can't yes. have sex on a mattress either <laughs> in a store. Oh, well, not legally. Yeah. <laughs> the other one, Dion, because you got a new car recently, the mm. test drive of the car. How did you find those? Oh, Ooh. that's a good point. Were they valuable? Did you get a lot of information? Oh, do you know what the best thing was? T- the best thing about test driving a car was that it's a great activity. It's a great mm. free activity. Free. It's great. Dion's All it does is waste fir- the time of the dealer. No, but <laughs> <laughs> they're going to make a lot of money. Dion, you're the first person who was like, oh, do you know what I did? I remember it was like a year ago. Yeah. Like, do you know what I did on the weekend? I test drove a Tesla. Yeah. And I was like, of course, I've always wanted to know what that it's is like. It's so much fun, but getting a feel for it. Yeah, you try and do all sorts of stuff. You try and test the calling system. You test the brakes occasionally, <laughs> accelerator. But I don't know much about cars, so I don't think I would know. I, You notice a bit of steering maneuverability, but I asked the dealer, I said, hey, can I take this home for 24 hours? He's like, nah, (laughs) no chance. And then he proceeded to get in the car with me while I test drove. Yeah, of course. Whereas some of them didn't. Some of them were like, COVID rules, go do what you want, see you in 25 minutes. It's beautiful. So good. Surely, Surely the idiot that leaves and doesn't come back... They'll be found. There must uh, be some kind of mechanism. Wait, was that your that. concern? Because you don't want someone breathing down your neck when you're driving um, a car. It seems odd to not yeah. have the... Because per- if yeah. anything happens, yeah. they will never know. Oh, that's a good point. Actually, like no dash cam or anything. But like if you hit a curb or something and st- stuff the wheel alignment, yeah. like they're not going to know that. That's interesting. Because I remember when I got my last car, I did some test drives. And as I was driving, I was like... I don't know what I'm. I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Oh, I'm like, no idea. Yeah, it's a car. I put my foot and it goes. Yeah, yeah, but like, it's, it's the same yeah. as the shoe. Yeah, you, you right. Put the shoe. If the shoe fits, <laughs> yeah, wear it. It's true. Speaking of shoes, <laughs> the one thing that really annoys me about shoe stores. So I go to try before I buy. All of the sudden, there's a few people in the store, but they've got like two seats in the entire yeah. shoe yeah, store. Yeah. There's, yeah. The whole purpose of going shoe shopping yeah. is to sit and put the shoes on. Yeah. And they have two seats <laughs> and normally half the seat is occupied by the six or seven shoes that you've already tried on yeah. before. Are you proposing that you don't need to stand up at all in a shoe store? <laughs> <laughs> You're just sitting uh, I'm proposing that shoe stores should be either <laughs> like cinemas. You know what? This is a rule. Oh, great. This, this is, is a rule. Is a rule. <laughs> Do not go to shoe stores if they have, number one, 
too many people in there. And number two, not enough staff. And number three, <laughs> not enough seats. <laughs> The wow. longest, longest rule I've ever heard in my life. Do you know, I think it's a three pronged three rule. Fire. I thought as I was seeing the store, I'm like, you know what the issues are? Not enough staff because mm. then you're not going to get your shoes yes. fast enough. Mm-hmm. Not enough seats. Yep. Then you're going to have nowhere to sit to put your shoes on. Biggest issue in a shoe store, I reckon, the nature of those seats. They're all at this. Uh, they're all rubbish. Aren't they all the little, and back to the back. Little, um, cushion ones. Who, who wants yeah. to sit? Who wants to sit back to back? Yeah. Oh. And they're not wide enough for full back to back. They're not. They're too they're narrow. Not. And you're actually like in this line in the middle of your spines, uh, even in the middle. Mm, it's yes. no good. <laughs> it's no good for trying on shoes. But it does encourage you to get up. <laughs> it does to get around. Do you know what is great? Those huge shoe horns. Oh, they make oh. a beautiful sound. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I've used a shoe horn. <laughs> Whenever I've used a shoe horn, I've been like, I can get used to this. Yeah, but why don't we get used to them? Why don't you use them all the time? You I don't should. Know. It's weird, right? Because I feel like putting on my shoes is not that much trouble. Mm. Unless there's particular, like, if you wore very expensive shoes, maybe they are like, better, just, a tighter fit. Just a quick hands up. Mm. Does anyone at this table own a shoe horn? I think I do somewhere. Yeah, Christ. somewhere. I think it's is red. It, can I ask? Can I ask? Yeah. Is it hanging off the back of a door? No, but it should be. And I'm going to do that when I get home. Ah, congratulations. I reckon yours would be battery powered, Dion. Oh, piss <laughs> off, would you? <laughs> a while ago, Josh, you and I, we were sitting in a pub and we were trying to pass the time. Not that we didn't have anything to talk about, <laughs> but we like to play games when we're drunk. Yay. And we came up with a game where I gave you the... Uh, cuisine. <laughs> I gave you the what, what's the word? Film. The film genre. 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 The cuisine. <laughs> I gave you the cuisine. The movie cuisine. cuisine. I gave you the film's cuisine. That's so strange. And also a lead in line. And you were supposed to give me the line that played. During your Academy Award nomination trailer. Yeah, just the little the little line, little key phrase from the film that yep. they grab out. Yep. So Josh, I've got one for you. Thank you. The film cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> it's an 80s patriotic US military action film Okay We've got one chance to get this right And there's only one man for the job The only problem is That man's still in jail <laughs> <laughs> There you go That's that one uh, Dan, I've got one for you Yeah, let's do it uh, It's a sci-fi horror I'll light up my cigarette then <laughs> <laughs> Sci-fi horror And it is called uh, hunt, hunting in the wild. Oh, yeah, the name. Did yours have a name? Nah, I, yeah, I just I remember name. about the names then. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. hunting in the wild. Yep, and it's a sci-fi horror. Okay. Oh my god, I, I can't go back in there. There's nothing left. There is something left, and you're looking at it right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, right. All the time, every time. Oh, like, oh, amazing, god. good genre choice. Um. <laughs> All right, well, mine is a typical Australian melodrama, right. uh, which I had to look up, which is a subtype of a drama. <laughs> um, and, uh, and here we go. I mean, I cannot believe that this has just happened. Do you think in your wildest dreams, all these people just came here for me? Baby, it sounds like you're dreaming. <laughs> Get this man to neighbours. Get him home and away. That's <laughs> uh, very good. Very good. In your wildest dreams. In your wildest dreams. In a, your wildest dreams. I I know that we movie. don't give winners in this game. <laughs> <laughs> For good reason. Because yeah. there's no winners <laughs> ever. <laughs> Around six months ago, I was shopping at Maya and I got it into my head. It was summer. Got in, I wanted a short, light, light sort of fab- fabric printed shirt. And I was it looking around. Like a great cuisine. Yeah. <laughs> great clothing cuisine, that one. And I was looking around Maya and I found this brand that I really, really liked. And so I bought this shirt. It was 70 bucks. It seemed really expensive. Bought the shirt. And then a couple of weeks later, after probably wearing it three times, noticed some peeling, which I thought for, t- for 35 years of my life was pronounced piling. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Ah. Piling. Anyway, that's not <laughs> the point of the story. Um, so I didn't have a receipt. And, I th- and so I thought, oh, look, I can't take this back to the store. I will go to the manufacturer and, and ask them what is going on with this pilling. So from here, I turn to you with a surprise rooibos. Yeah. Oh! 
<laughs> Play the Roivus music. I don't know if it's loaded up. I don't think we even have any. And um, we'll never buy Roivus. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, so I have sent to you in Telegram, if you could each open um, the, oh. the the document. Absolutely. Um, I've sent to you in Telegram. And usually for comedic effect, we usually have this printed out, but I couldn't be bothered. So I've sent it digitally. <laughs> and um, what is indicated is Josh, your part, yep. where you will play me. And Christian, you will play the brand. Gotcha. Um, and so I'd like you both to kick it off. All righty. So this is me as Dion emailing the T-shirt manufacturer. Hi, team. I'm wondering if you can help me. A little while ago, I came across Barney Cool's clothes at Maya. I absolutely <laughs> loved the styles, so I bought one of your shirts. I researched online post-purchase. I usually do this before I buy clothes. Sorry, there's an exclamation in that. <laughs> yeah, there is. I usually do this before I buy clothes. <laughs> and people were saying how good the brand was and how long the clothes last. It was an expensive purchase for me, but it was exactly what I'd been looking for. So you can see this is the typical rooibos setup, oh, yeah. buttering them Absolutely. up a little bit, and let's apply that. It's butter. a phase one butter up. <laughs> <laughs> After only wearing the shirt a few times, I noticed that the fabric on the back was visibly peeling, piling, piling. Is that? <laughs> I have good idea. It's just written down for your emails. <laughs> I have no idea how it happened, and it's not something I've ever had with a shirt before. Do you know how this may have happened? Please see photos attached. Sorry, I, I, I corrected your yeah, sentence no, that's, there. That's fine. I'll, I'll and feel free to cut it short as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do as read. Do you know this may have happened? <laughs> oh, my God. I genuinely love to buy more of your clothes, but I am a little concerned that the same thing might happen. I'd love to hear back from you and hear what you might be able to do in this situation. Looking forward to hearing from you, Dion. I, I just want to say before I crack into the response from the brand, <laughs> Thank you for sending that email, Dion, because mm. not many people, people see the piling, pilling, <laughs> and they go, ah, fuck, that's that's done. Yeah. But Dion, this is why the Roy Boss Challenge is yours at heart. Oh, I really well, appreciate that. I, I don't know why it occurs. I thought it was just a naturally occurring event. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like an El Nino event. Yeah. <laughs> El Pillow event. <laughs> <laughs> From the brand, the email back. Hey, Dion. Thanks for getting in touch and providing those photos. We always suggest that customers follow the care tag carefully mm. to help prolong the lifespan of their garment. Unfortunately, because the item was purchased with a third-party retailer, we cannot extend our return policy. Additionally, with the item being washed and worn, our production team cannot assess the item for fault qualities. However, I have forwarded your inquiry to our head office team for review. When they return from the weekend... I will follow up with a remedy for this issue. Chat soon, Chevy. Chevy. So, so, so then I waited, and he didn't get on to me for about a week, and I was pretty disappointed. So you had to chase Chevy, <laughs> hey! yeah. and you just ruined the joke. Oh, <laughs> no. Hey, Chevy, do you have any luck chasing this up? Let me know, oh, Dion. Thank, thank you, so Christian. Much. The one joke in the whole exchange <laughs> gone down the gurgler. Well, that's the robot challenge. No, that's not the robot. It continues. <laughs> it's good. You're on the same wavelength. That's it's the peak. Good stuff. <laughs> so you chasing? Uh, yes Hey Dion Apologies for the delay here I've got you approved for a courtesy store credit To use towards a purchase with our brand directly Smiley face Check out below for details Voucher value $40 <laughs> If you have <laughs> Immediately disappointed <laughs> If you, have, if you have any questions or issues on applying the code, please reply to this email and we will do our best to help out. So, <laughs> so they're, they're getting money off you because there's nothing in the store you could buy for 40 bucks, right? No, but, but like the, it's a discount on the next, on the next shirt. And I was, I was going to pursue it a little bit more, but to be honest, haven't done it in a while out of practice. <laughs> but you know what? Quite rightly, he was like, you didn't follow the care instructions, mate. It's true. But you know what I've found? Have I ever raised this on patchwork before? Yeah. I've got a backpack. Whenever I wear this backpack on any art article of clothing, it destroys the clothes. <laughs> oh, what? It's really strange. It, it, oh it peels the, it peels. It rides up and. It rides up and it's, but I won't get rid of it. But I don't know what to do. <laughs> but, what do I, but what do I do? Um, but anyway, so that was a bit of fun getting back into the thrill of the that, rhobus. Were, were you pleased with the outcome? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I don't really care. Well, yeah, it's your. In the end of the day, it's your fault. You ruined your own t-shirt. It is. Right? But should it withstand normal wear and tear? That's really what I was thinking. Well, like all of these things that we're purchasing, they should be able to survive a backpack. What, what was the they? what was the care that you didn't follow? 
Uh, I put it in with everything like I do with everything else. Yeah, right. Because yeah, so, everything yeah, has the exact same wash cycle. Yeah. It's just it's just the everything cycle. Oh, but this is this is where patchworkers are going to be listening to this going, this fucking idiot. <laughs> of course they will. Because I know some people that wash everything. They wash their left socks together, <laughs> their right Listen, socks. M- feel free to do that if you're living with multiple people. But if you're... Can I say, if you're living solo, mm. it's all going in the same wash. Mm. I'm not separating out. I don't have enough whites to do a white load. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. There's too many mini loads. I'm doing mini loads. Hey, guess what? Everyone who has separate <laughs> loads, buy less things. That sounds like a rule. I think we've got a rule, Christian. It's a, it's a rule. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it is a rule, Josh. <laughs> if you're able to do multiple loads of washing for whites, darks, colours... You have too many clothes. <laughs> Good rule. Solid rule. But it made me think, like, when I bought this, and let's say it didn't pill, how about, what about, we touched on it earlier, the idea of returning it. And I think everyone knows from way back, I'm a big returner. You are big a big returner. returner. I don't mind returning. Returning's great. I think that it's particularly you good. You the tennis court. <laughs> <laughs> particularly good with online purchases mm. like as long as i think the key to returning an online purchase is not spending additional money on the return packaging use the original packaging mm. with a bit of tape <laughs> and you can go and yeah. all, all this for everyone out there in australia going to oz post they're very liberal with tape you can go there with something that's untaped they'll tape it up for they'll you they'll tape yeah. it for you see jenny oh, this is tape. it right <laughs> we're learning from the best mm. hey that sounds like I, a rule deal that sounds like a rule is it when returning articles of clothing, remember, you must always not tape them <laughs> before you go to the Oz Post branch. Because I rarely return. I think the only thing yes. I return really? is something that I have an intention to return beforehand. In, in, and the last thing I returned mm-hmm. was I, when I was sick with COVID, I got some like saline stuff to clear out my nose and they only had like f- packets of 50. So I was like, I don't need 50, but I'll <gasps> get it and maybe my housemate will have some. So I was like, can I return? It's like, yeah, just don't open it. I was like, cool. And I ended up, didn't need it. Georgia had a bunch and then I returned it. That's gotcha. Nice. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, That's how I treat can returns. I, can, I, can I guess for the same reason maybe <laughs> that I don't do many returns is because you buy only when you need, right? Yeah. So I think that there's, there's research involved beforehand. You go looking, you buy more often than not. It's what you need. Yeah. You don't need a return. Yeah. I think shopping as an activity yep. rather than as a necessity leads to more returns. You're absolutely right. Also, mm. desperation, because the last thing I wanted to return but couldn't was when I was going overseas, my headphones died. I was like, oh, I just need some Bluetooth head ones. Any, any in-ear stuff, it's like once opened, cannot return. Yes. Yes. They're like underpants. Yeah, yeah. 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 it yeah. sucked. And so then these JBL ones, the battery thing on them was huge and hit my neck. I'm like, I hate these, but I'm, I'm locked in now. And because yes. I was desperate because I was leaving in a couple of days, I was like, I don't have time to order it. I just well, have to buy this. What would you do? I kept them. I've still got them. You, do you use them? Uh, no, I, I bought the ones that I wanted later. Oh, because I noticed some bruising on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it was just like, I was just like, I can't, I don't want these and I can't return them. And I really wanted to. Yeah. And now, you, and now you're stuck with technical debt. And it's be- <laughs> it was because I couldn't research and get the thing and do what I would norm my normal process. Yeah. Do you know what? Just speaking of technical debt, I have a, a like a, an ele- electronics um, box at home that has mm. old electronics. That is shocking. Shocking. It that is. We're all accumulating our own old el- electronic mm. waste. That's horrible. I hate that. <laughs> I'll put your JBLs about? in there, though. No, uh, it's just that I, we should be, that stuff should be lasting for ages. But you buy a pair of Bluetooth headphones, the battery goes in three months, three years, and then you've got your own blood. I've got my own bloody box. Just take down the recycling yeah. plant. I know. I, I, don't, I know. I actually don't think you'd be alone there. I have a box of old things as well. Mm. And they're just going to, yeah, go, go down to office is, work. Is part of it because you intend, oh, if the real ones break, I've got the backups? Oh, that's, that's why I keep point. a lot of that stuff. I would say that for you and I, Dion, maybe not you, Josh, but maybe you. I don't know. But for you and I, Dion, <laughs> it's because we went through a phase of wanting to try a lot of different things. Yeah. Well, you did that recently. You had those headphones, the little... The oh, the little, bone conductor. Yeah, the, bone the bone conduction ones, <laughs> which I did try and they were okay, but now I've sold them on Marketplace. Right. It your was, first purchase. Your first it, selling. It was my first sale ever on Marketplace. And amazingly. The, Congratulations. Thank amazing, you so much, the, guys. The, the per- very, muzzle top. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> um, the, person, the person that you sold it to didn't live in Victoria. Tazzy. Didn't live in Melbourne. So threw, so threw a complication into the mix. Didn't know what to do. He oh po- my. Did you end up posting it? I did. Did you tape it? 
Oh, God. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> I just put it in an envelope. <laughs> lick, lick. Shitty. <laughs> Well, we are about halfway through the episode, so I think it's about time we check to make sure that our mics are working. Uh, just a quick sound check. For this episode's sound check, we're going to do 80s rock stars. Mm. I'll kick us off. <clears throat> Guns and Roses have deep vein thrombosis. <laughs> Guns and Roses have deep vein thrombosis. <laughs> You changed the way you said roses slightly. Yeah, no, like roses. No, no. Uh, Guns and roses. Great. Oh, God. Dion, did you need to check your yeah, mic? Yeah, I'll just check mine now. Freddie Mercury rewired his home circuitry. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Mercury rewired his home's circuitry. Oh, shit. <laughs> better, I better check mine as well. Duran Duran got a spray tan, spray tan. <laughs> Duran Duran got a spray tan, spray tan. <laughs> so we've been speaking a little bit about trying before you buy, but I wanted to ask you both, what is the threshold in which you go from shopping online to shopping in store? Because recently I have been making, without even realizing it, all of my purchases online. Mm. Not thinking about it, just everything. I, I've been buying a novelty cactus lamp. I bought my- Everything. I, <laughs> <laughs> just the essentials. I bought that. I bought a, a novelty flamingo lamp. <laughs> no, I bought my groceries. Like, I just oh, realized I, I, bought, say, like, groceries. A, I bought like a jumper. And then, I, and then it just occurred to me. I was like, I've been shopping mm. into a store for a while. The last time was to buy a sound bar, which I had- Intensely researched, mm. but before. never listened to before. Well, I, that's big, that's why I had to make the call to oh, go in store. Thank God. So that was the trigger. But what is the trigger for you guys? Is there something that you think about? It's oh. fine. It's the amount of money for me for the most part. Mm. The more expensive the thing, the less likely I am to buy it online. Cheaper, get it online. Like little cables, adapters, those kind of things. Yep. Happy to get cheapo. Get yeah. them online. Don't think about it because you're just paying through the nose for yes. that in store. Oh, but yeah. as the price goes up. I want a bit more security because the main thing is I do want that store that if anything does go wrong, say you buy a new TV, if anything's wrong, so much better to be able to go down there and talk to someone. It is bloody yes. lovely buying in store though, isn't it? Like it's so lovely and like that's what I'm trying to do a little bit more buying in store. Just that, that It's just a better experience. You also get it immediately as well. Like that's a great thing. Yes. I love oh, that. The How ima- good's the car ride home with the thing? Oh, oh, waiting to oh, use the it. Thing, the thing, cugging that cactus. Oh, that newborn TV. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this flamingo in the back seat. <laughs> Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> I'll turn this car right around. <laughs> but but yeah. So Dion, tell us about that experience. What what's nice about being in store? Look, I mean, I needed a glass water jug. And I was thinking, oh, looking online, looking online. Just go down to the local kitchen place. They had it there. Yes. Filled up the jug within 15 minutes of buying it. So the immediacy (laughs) is huge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed water. (laughs) (laughs) And the tap wouldn't do. (laughs) Um, But yeah, that immediacy I think is really important. But there's also that thing if you are shopping in store, I like to check reviews when I go to the store. But you don't want to seem like you're a stinge checking pricing. You don't want to... Mm. No, I don't think you should be on your phone in the store at all. Ooh, really? I, it's ooh. in store or out of store. And never the twi- two shall meet. That's, ah. a, that's a rule. Okay. That's, a, that's a way for me. If you're buying in store, you should never be on your phone. Oh. Wait, what's I think the, it's got to be wait. completely separate. Wait, you've got to justify the rule. You've got to just have a rule, a freestanding my age, rule. My age, you can. <laughs> Um, Give us the so, top points. Yeah, because I don't think if you're using the services of in-store, you owe them a purchase. You can't get the best of both worlds. No, 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 hang no, on, no, 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 no. missed what Dion's No, no, no. Saying. I'm looking up on my phone to look up reviews of the product. Still, I don't at. think... What? I don't think because they... Is this a, is this a subclause to the rule? <laughs> but the, yeah, okay. Subclause, subclause. <laughs> Unless you're checking reviews. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you, because now I'm comfortable with the rule. But that, that's a thing. You have to, like, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty crazy about checking reviews, whether it's a restaurant, whether it's a friend, whatever it is. Oh, imagine if you could do that. Josh, Use just, your friends. Ju- just quickly, I've got a call from my partner and it seems like it's urgent. Can I take it? I'm in store. Oh, you don't think, oh. wait, yeah, what's your phone use? <laughs> Are you checking right prices or just being on, I'm the, not fo- on, the, on the phone, phone call? I'm on the phone call's fine. You know what it's... <laughs> 
on a phone call is fine. So wait, right? what scenario think, are you talking about? I, you know what? You know what it is. It's because I, when you said that, in my brain, I'm like I do all my research before I'm at the app the store. Oh. I do all that stuff before yes. I get there, yeah. and the in store experience is just to chat to the person and go, I know more than you. Yes, and then also just yeah. to, to but but pack Josh, up, touch it. when I bought that sound bar, I went in store. I said I would like this sound bar, and he said. Well, I've got that sound bar, oh. and that's better bang for your buck. And he sold you up the river, didn't he? I no. I went onto my phone, had a quick look, and I said, "This has got awesome reviews." You know what? I'm going to trust the person who <gasps> works here, and I bought that one. Interesting. Yeah, but you never know why they're selling you that. They might have excess stock. Yes, they might be yes. extremely dishonest. And and for someone who has worked in retail before, when I was younger. I know that there's stock to move, yeah. and I know that the word from the higher ups, the fat cats come into <laughs> town and tell you, move the high sense soundbar. Yeah, We've got too many and in so, Sydney, and you bought <laughs> the warehouse flooded with <laughs> high sense soundbars. And so you knew that, but still went ahead. Were you happy with your purchase? Uh, well, to be honest, it's I've, I've put it in. <laughs> I've put it in mum's living room. Really? Yeah, yeah. So Why? she'll deal with it. Didn't want to return it's fine, it. It's fine. No, no, no. It Get was me for to her. do it. I'll it do it. Her. It was for her. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. The other thing I was, I was thinking, I don't know if you guys, I don't think I've ever really bought something important without looking at reviews. Mm. I don't think I've ever been like, I'm going to buy this thing and not really look into it. Josh, I have a question for you. What is the ratio? For minutes spent researching to the dollar value. So, as an example, if you're spending 10 bucks, you'll spend a minute. Is a minute too long? Mm. If you're spending 50 bucks. Yeah. I think it's more, it's less about that. I just get in the hole of it and I just go for it. It kind of doesn't matter. Like, I'm kind of looking for some new Bluetooth headphones at the moment. Wow. Don't, I want to spend around... 40, 50 bucks. I don't really want to blow the budget too much. Yep. Okay, 40, 50 bucks. Tell me, how long do you yeah, spend researching? Yeah, and I'm like, I started to do a little bit. And so there's a, like a couple, an hour or so, and there's probably going to be another afternoon at some point. But similarly, if it was $600 for a new computer part, I would have probably a couple of days worth. Yeah, right. A couple of days I, I worth. I think yeah. as, you, as, you spend spend more, as you spend more, the time spent researching is disproportionate to what you spend if it's mm, less. Yes, but I think the lower end, I tend to re- over-research. Is that then, a logarithmic function? <laughs> I don't know about that. Do they go in instruction manuals? <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, Dan, that you think that's too much research. No, no, no. I don't think it's too much research. I, I, I do understand it because it's something that you're going to be using so regularly. Yeah. Like You get a set of headphones and they sound like shit. You're going to... You're going to mm. hate the mm. headphones, but you're going to hate yourself. Mm. You will absolutely hate it. But no, I put a shitload of research into things. But also, got a choice subscription. It's great. Choice is so choice. good. And you, and you trust. Very liberal. Very liberal with the with the login. I'll give it to Patrick <laughs> as now. It's my email address. But Patreons only. But Patri- <laughs> Patreons only choice only. Patreon.com forward slash Walton to Patrick. <laughs> That's a part of their money goes to. That, we have a communal choice login. That for would be everyone. great. Actually, in the show notes, we'll put the the Bluetooth <laughs> headphones that Josh uh, selected and Christian's high sense soundbar <laughs> and photos of everything, um, and uh, and photos of my shirts that have pilling on them. Um, but the, yeah, the other thing in terms of buying online or buying in store, um, I I feel like really the only stuff I get in store now is like clothes. Mm. Like I feel that's the only thing that I will I will not buy clothes and stuff online. It's tough yeah. buying clothes online. Like yeah. it's tough. Like I know my size, but you never quite know how you're going to feel. But I, how do you do it? But clothes online tend to be cheaper, do they? Or are we just yeah, conditioned I just, to think But I don't are. buy that many clothes, so I just accept it. I go, oh, I'll just buy, I buy this every once in a while, so don't worry to, about it. Clothes has to be in store. Yeah, right. It has yeah. to be because it's about the look. You're spending time looking in the mirror. It's about the fit. Like everyone's body is going to... Sp- Suit the clothes very differently And the main yeah. thing I think I mentioned this The last patch It's like Yeah I want an attendant there And I go Just help me look cool please Help me look cool Is that No no oh, what, cool? what do you actually no. ask I like So uh, the most recent one I did Was I was just buying Like a plain white shirt Because right. my brother's wedding And stuff I was like I need a new shirt Because I don't have A nice plain white one mm-hmm. And so I was like It was How's the fit on this And he explained Oh the shoulder bit Perfect. Should come out this far And duck in here He was like Yep that's a good fit for you Because like I don't know What a good fit I can know the numbers but yes. in terms of the fit of the shirt, yes. I didn't know what I was dealing with. Possibly my favourite article of clothing, the white shirt, the white formal shirt. Oh, it's it so versatile. It's so versatile and it's so crisp. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it some, is. And some... how's the pilling? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's really nice is that I've settled into a size US 11 shoe. 
For the oh, first time in my life, muzzle. I've settled into a size and I have... Shoe size? I don't know what's going on. That's changed but there was time? Like, there was a period of time like in my 20s with... Things were up and down. I go from a 12 to a 10 and a half. I was all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now, Maybe in my 30s... Yeah. Stabilised. US 11. Oh. See you later, baby. Oh, were you stepping, <laughs> stepping on a lot of bees, getting stung on your feet a lot? Yeah. <laughs> like I don't week. know what was going on. Oh, back to a 12. <laughs> uh, it was nice to tell people that I was wearing a 12, though. <laughs> I wish the world would agree on shoe sizes. Yeah. UK, yeah let's start again, UK, right? UK, UK, fuck off, UK. <laughs> it's one size down. I love a bit of a 41, 42, 43. Are you like a European? Absolutely. Why do they start in the 40s? Where are the rest of the numbers? I don't know. And what about those power plugs? <laughs> <laughs> what do they relate to? What the numbers relate to though? Oh, they're not related. I don't think the numbers. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Well, I guess because height in- makes sense. What the? Because it's uh, literally like, a measurement of your height. Yes. Are you oh, saying like yeah. so? If, oh, the oh 40s, shit. 20, what are they? Is that, yeah. They're Is not centimeters, centimeters, are they? No. Wow. So, wait. None of this. No. We don't have enough time to look it up now. But no. No, no that'll be good. Yeah. Oh, we'll have it in the show notes as well. <laughs> have you guys? Have you guys ever bought something? And then looked at it afterwards and realized you'd bought a dud, like looked at reviews and stuff. Because I've never done that. I would feel like such a fool oh. if I researched the product afterwards. I did. I bought bed sheets that were these beautiful orange, burnt orange color. But I read in the reviews, some people were saying that when you put them in the wash, they peel, I guess, <laughs> as well. And uh, yeah, they make, the a, they make an absolute mess everywhere. Oh, but oh, no. after a couple of washes... All good. It's calmed down. More of an orange rather than a burnt orange. <laughs> uh, my my uh, my. Uh, I remember my mum made a purchase for my nephew from the two dollars store or the reject shop, or whatever, yeah. and it was a remote control car. And she put it down. And she said, "Christian, can you assemble this?" And I looked at the packaging, and it was you know <laughs> none of the instructions made sense, and they were written <laughs> on the packaging. It was half depressed, and I knew immediately looking at that, I go, "This is going to suck." This toy, <laughs> yeah. and yeah. I. The batteries were impossible to put in. I put them in. It went. It wouldn't go forwards. It went backwards for about an inch. And then we could never get it to work again. That sounds to me like the, you know the random stuff that sits at the post office. It's like one of those things. You know, yeah, it's all piled up. But some everywhere. of that stuff is great. I've been very tempted to buy that stuff at the post office. There's some, they've, they've got you know it's in their business model. It's a service station business model. They're relying on that shit. Let's get some spoons with the with the queen on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, with queens with the, queen spoons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does the queen have? Her face on oh, the spoons. Spoon? Oh, I and still have my face on my spoon. Oh, on, how she... weird is that? If you're just visiting a friend, <laughs> you got to stir your coffee, and your face is on the teaspoon. What about? Do you reckon the queen is looking at the currency? She's like, she's got a no, face printed no, I on. don't. Why not? She doesn't have coins. Does the queen not... <laughs> Does she know the price of milk? <laughs> Mate, queen's queen's pay and go, tap and go. Queen's off. She's busy. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Vodka to Patchwork. It is so good to be back, and we're going to say that every week for the next 10 weeks. It's so great. It's been such a long break. It's been so much fun recording again. Yeah. Season 7 is going to be so much fun already. Yeah, it's beautiful. And if you haven't seen our new artwork before, it doesn't make sense because you're listening <laughs> to the podcast. So look down at your phone and check it out because, God, we look happy. <laughs> Um, but what a productive session this was. Yeah, we learned a lot. Try before you buy instruction manual. What sort of shit did we collate? <laughs> I think the trot, the install trot's not enough. We no. do. I think ideally mm. we'd like some sort of uh, multi setup system that gets you yep. to try in with, realistic circumstances. With, with different environments, yeah, yeah. different weather. Yep. Yeah. It's all there. The other thing we, we discussed was that Aldi have a 60 day return policy. <laughs> did, did we discuss that? No, no I don't no. think we did. Oh, well, that's great that the listeners days, now know. 60 days too long. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we uh, Shoe stores need more staff, yeah, <laughs> need yeah. more seats. Yeah. Just. I- Need more everything. Need more shoes. <laughs> I think also we're heavy on reviews. Got to read a lot of reviews. That's always yes. powerful information. And we know Josh doesn't love pulling his phone out when he's in store. Yeah, still don't understand that. Yeah, I got a bit. I jumped but, the gut a bit. I'll be honest. But uh, we added a couple of rules. We so did. It was great. God, God bless you. you. <laughs> and we've of course got social media. Do I need to continue to remind you? Yes, I do. Because we want a huge following because we want to get a blue tick. No, we don't actually <laughs> care about that. We don't give a shit. But we would like you to follow us because we're going to be posting lots and lots of video content. We've got a great new studio set up. We've taken ages to get this set up and make it look great. So we're going to share that with you. So please jump on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. We've also got a Patreon. We've got and TikTok. YouTube. And TikTok. And TikTok. 
We also have a Patreon. We have a Patreon. <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash welcome to Patchwork. We have so many people who have stuck with us as well while we were on break. And um, looking forward to delivering you more and more bonus, bonus content and making you feel loved and appreciated. And as we do every week, we sew a new patch into our quilt of friendship. Or should I say quilt of life? Mm. Josh, what patch did you sew into our Thank you, Dion. My patch this week is Christian strapping two cactus lamps to his feet and going for a test walk. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, what patch did you sew this week? Thank you, Josh. This week I sewed into my patch, me being convinced by an employee that Hisense make a better spoon with the Queen's head painted on it. <laughs> <laughs> and Dion, what did you sew into your patch this week? My patch this week is the Queen <laughs> squatting in a pair of jeans. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? The foot drop? Yeah, I, know, I toyed with that. It's the green foot drop foot squatting into a pair of jeans. Uh, oh, okay. God. Thank you so much for listening to Welcome to Patrick for another week. I've been Dion. I've been Josh. And I've been Christian. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.